Who doesn't like to roast marshmallows over a campfire or curl up in front of a fireplace on a cold day? Mastering fire is how our prehistoric ancestors thrive, but the California wildfires and the fire at Notre Dame have shown us that an out-of-control fire can be a catastrophe. It's a good thing modern humans have come up with these powerful inventions to fight it. Let's take a look at some of the most ingenious firefighting inventions now. Amazing. Number 10. The Allied Fireball this might look like an oversized atomic fireball candy, but this three-pound sphere was designed to do the opposite of burn. When it detects fire, the device responds in under three seconds by opening up and dousing the flame with fire-retardant chemicals. The chemicals act to remove oxygen from the air, thereby depriving fire of its fuel source. No oxygen means no more fire. Winner of seven international awards, the Allied Fireball can put out a 27 by 42 foot fire in less than a minute and has several advantages over traditional fire extinguishers. For one thing, it self-detonates, meaning that it'll act to put out fire even if nobody's home. The Fireball doesn't require yearly inspections like traditional fire extinguishers do either. You just mount it on the wall and rest easy. Number 9. Soundwave Fire Extinguisher If you're not feeling easy about chemicals in your kitchen, a device may soon be on the market that uses no chemicals or water to put out flames. Developed by two undergraduates at George Mason University, the Soundwave Fire Extinguisher uses base frequencies to extinguish fires. So, how does it work? It uses a mobile subwoofer gun to shoot sound frequencies between 30 Hz to 60 Hz. The gun focuses those sound waves, creating a wave vortex. The vortex generates pressure that separates the oxygen and molecules from the blaze. The sound wave fire extinguisher can tackle a 12-inch diameter area, and because it doesn't use water or chemicals, it only causes damage to the fire itself. Although it uses the same frequencies as hip-hop and dubstep, I don't recommend trying to use your Bluetooth speaker to put out a fire. Number 8. Pyrolance this one is probably best left in the hands of professionals, but that doesn't make it any less ingenious. The Pyrolance, developed by Florida company Pyro UHP, looks like something a sniper in a spy movie might use. Instead of shooting bullets, though, it shoots a proprietary abrasive material. Focused through a 1-inch nozzle at the tip of a 53-inch lance, this abrasive material can cut through concrete, steel, and anything else in its way in mere seconds. Once it's through, the operator can use the Pyrolance's remote system to switch the output to pure water. That same ultra-high-pressure nozzle can shoot 10 gallons of water a minute at 2200 psi, distributing a fine mist. That mist cools the air around a fire, lowering the temperature up to 90%. Once everything's cooled down, fire rescue teams can enter the room safely. Number 7. Arone's Firefighting Drone some fires are just too hot to handle, even for expert fire crews. That's where unmanned inventions come in especially handy. Unfortunately, building blazes aren't limited to small structures. High-rise apartments, skyscrapers, and even wind turbines can catch fire too. That's a problem for firefighters, because the average fire truck ladder can only reach to about 230 feet. While that's high enough to make me dizzy, it's not quite as tall as a burning skyscraper. Enter the Arones Firefighting Drone, which can reach heights of up to 1300 feet. Developed by Latvian company Arones LTD, this drone can reach its maximum height in only 6 minutes. Once it's up there, the drone can even be used to rescue people from the building, since it can carry up to 319 pounds at a time. That's pretty impressive for a machine that weighs only 121 pounds. Still in the research and development stage, the drone is tethered by a power cable and a water hose, but the company is working on an improved power supply. At present, it's unable to lift a fully pressurized fire hose and operates for only 30 minutes on battery power. So there's some work to be done before we'll see the Arones fighting drone at our local fire stations. I can't wait to see what this flying fighter fighter can do in the future. Number 6. Loof 60 
Coming back down to Earth, there are plenty of on-the-ground situations that can make firefighting riskier than usual. Tight spaces, toxic gas, extreme temperatures, and explosive materials can up the ante on an otherwise normal firefighting situation, making combating the blaze even more life-threatening for rescue teams. Austrian company Loof has developed this powerhouse solution, called the Loof 60 and resembling a mini tank. This machine is capable of not only spraying water and foam, but maneuvering through tunnels and even climbing stairs. The machine's operator can stand 980 feet away and use a remote control to aim the Loof 60's nozzle at a fire. This powerful nozzle can spray water up to 260 feet, foam up to 98 feet, and can spin a full 360 degrees. That red cannon up top has a high-capacity positive pressure ventilator that can produce a water beam fog that decreases the temperature of a fire by surrounding it with tiny droplets of water. A four-cylinder, water-cooled John Deere diesel engine powers this small beast, and it has several optional attachments to make it even more effective in emergency situations. A bulldozer attachment can move up to 1,300 pounds of debris out of its way. With the forklift attachment, it can lift up to 880 pounds. Add the cable winch, mini crane, and flood water pump, and there's almost nothing the Loof 60 can't handle. There's even a rail kit which will enable it to travel along train tracks. Number 5. Thermite RS1 T3 if red just isn't your color, try the bright yellow Thermite RS1 T3 on for size. Manufactured by American company Howie and Howie Technologies, this mini water blaster isn't just cute. Its full-body heat shielding and 3,280-foot remote control distance makes it ideal for putting out vehicles that might explode. The Thermite RS1 T3 is driven by a 25-horsepower air-cooled diesel engine, which allows it to operate continuously for 10 hours. It features high-intensity lighting for nighttime firefighting, industrial-grade tracks that allow it to climb slopes up to 70% grade, and an adjustable nozzle that can spray 1,250 gallons a minute. As if that wasn't enough, the attached winch can pull up to 5,000 pounds. Add to that its zero-degree turning radius, and you've got one powerful little firefighting package. Number 4. Firefighting Tanker Aircraft as dangerous as kitchen fires and burning buildings can be, there are few blazes more frightening than those that eat up acres and acres. As the unfortunate residents of Paradise, California know all too well, forced fires are terrifying, destructive, and spread quickly. So how do the professionals handle these intense circumstances? They take to the air, of course! When the massive campfire hit Butte County, California in 2018, experts deployed the Boeing 747-400 supertanker to help combat the blaze. It is the world's largest firefighting aircraft and can carry 19,000 gallons of water. This supersized plane seats 14 people with two bunks for additional crew members. Although it's based in Colorado Springs, Colorado, the supertanker can get anywhere in the country in three hours or less. With a maximum speed of 600 miles per hour, it can also get anywhere in the world in 20 hours or less. It takes about 30 minutes to load up the supertanker with water, foam, gel, or chemical retardant. It only takes in 6 seconds to release the full tank on top of the blaze. Highly maneuverable for its size, the supertanker can climb out of the drop zone at 6,000 feet per minute. Colorado isn't the only home for awesome aerial equipment. Canadian company Bombardier Aerospace developed the Bombardier CL415 in 1995, and it's been operating ever since. This amphibious aircraft requires only two people to operate. Unlike the Boeing Supertanker, this plane doesn't need to land to grab water. Instead, it can fly over the nearest body of water and scoop up 1,600 gallons in just 12 seconds. The CL-415 can fly as low as 100 feet above tree level and has four separate water tanks to drop from. Weighing in at 28,000 pounds with a 94-foot wingspan, this aircraft fights fires at speeds of 110 knots. That's about the speed of a McLaren F1, but even the speediest car can't land on water. Number 3. Sikorsky S64 Skycrane Speaking of refilling on the fly, this next remarkable aircraft has two methods of filling up. 
Originally invented by Sikorsky Aircraft and now owned by Ericsson Incorporated, the S-64 Arcane Helitanker is a twin-engine heavy-lift helicopter equipped with a 2,650-gallon water tank. It can fill that tank with either a hover pump snorkel or a ram hydrofoil sea snorkel in as little as 45 seconds. Equipped with a GPS tracking system, the S-64 can pinpoint the optimal drop location, targeting wildfires with precision. Each engine boasts 4,050 horsepower used to run its six-blade main rotor. Initially built for the German military, the United States ended up with the helitanker instead. It looks like firefighting aircraft are hot commodities. Number 2. Zycoon Turbo Extinguisher wouldn't it be cool if there was a supersonic fighter jet that fought fire? Well, there is. <laughs> sort of. Developed in Germany, the Zycoon Turbo Extinguisher is the most powerful aerosol extinguishing vehicle on the market. It uses four spray nozzles mounted above two jet turbine engines to release a super fine mist. Because the water droplets are so tiny, the mist absorbs more heat bringing the temperature down so low that it goes out. This supercooling technology also chills out explosives, preventing them from going off. Using a joystick, firefighters can rotate the spray 90 degrees in either direction. This machine can blast out 1,700 gallons a minute from a distance of over 800 feet. But putting out fires isn't the only thing this jet-powered beast can do. It's also handy for dispersing combustion gas, cooling down tanks and chemical plants, and ventilating smoke from tunnels. It's safe to say, the Zycoon Turbo Extinguisher is a blast. Number 1. Big Wind Big Wind isn't just the name your dad lives up to after a big takeaway meal. It's a machine that's just as powerful at extinguishing a room. When you absolutely, positively have to put out the hottest, harshest fires, accept no substitute. Made by Hungarian company MB Drilling in 1991, Big Wind was designed to put out oil fires. In fact, it was used heavily in Kuwait when Saddam Hussein's retreating forces set fire to 600 oil wells before leaving the Persian Gulf War. On the bottom, Big Wind is a 50-year-old Soviet VT-55A tank. It has only one forward gear, and its top speed is 3 miles per hour. What the bottom of the vehicle lacks in speed, the top more than makes up for. Up top, Big Wind has two MIG-21 Tumansky turbo jet engines mounted to it. If you don't already know, the MIG-21 jet fighter is the most long-lived jet fighter in the world. That's because, although it's been used since the 1950s, many of them are still in the air today. Each engine produces 27,000 pounds of thrust. If they were still attached to a plane, it would move at twice the speed of sound. Big Wind uses six water hoses, three above each engine, to pump out 8,000 gallons of water per minute. The jet engines then propel the water at 770 miles per hour. It takes three people to operate Big Wind, a platform controller, a driver, and a fire chief. Only two of them enter the vehicle while the fire chief walks on the outside as a guide. Moving this monster requires a 500 horsepower V12 kerosene engine. Weighing in at a whopping 92,000 pounds, this firefighting machine is a force to be reckoned with. When it comes to firefighting, necessity is the mother of invention. Which firefighting device did you think was the coolest? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.